Welcome back to the channel. Today's episode of Atwood's Garage, I'm actually at work and I need to remove some broken studs out of my cylinder head here and I have a TIG available to me which I don't have at home. Uh, you can do this with a MIG but the size of a MIG gun versus a TIG torch, much easier to use a TIG torch. Now, I fully admit I'm not the best TIG artist. Bear with me. But this is how it goes. Let's get these studs removed. Start with the long one here. Put a nut over This helmet, you have to turn on. I'm used to my helmet at home, which is automatic. That was a nice lower flash. Anyway, back to the task at hand. Torch up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now these next two are going to be more difficult because they're flush. So what I'm going to do, try to build them up a little bit beforehand, and then drop the nut on, and zap her down. Thinner rod, easier to get in place there. Just melted it into a giant blob. Knocked off my nut. Let's get this last one out. to get the and yes I have contaminated my torch tip so it will be all right Soak a little bit. Didn't even catch. All right. Need another nut.
actually should probably probably regrind my tip. Tungsten redone. And let's see if I have better luck this time. Little hole in the side of the nut. I got all my darn tip again. This one is just not cooperating. This one's just going to have to build her up. Good yellow. And that, folks, is how you get broken studs out of an aluminum cylinder head. Like I said, I'm no TIG master. I do much better with a MIG, but a TIG is much easier to do this with. As always, that was garage where there's never enough room, but sometimes we have some 
pretty good to neat toys to play with have a good day